Did you know there's a procedure that can help you check up on and keep track of your learning process? Let's say you own a car. If you want to take good care of that car, every now and then you should visit a car mechanic for a routine checkup. It's a fairly simple process that helps you identify whether everything in the car is running smoothly or if there's a problem you didn't know about. However, there are some things we can do ourselves to take care of the car without needing to go to a mechanic. A KWL chart is like us personally checking up on our car. Instead of a car, it's a process of evaluating our learning and seeing if things are running smoothly or if there's a problem that can be fixed. A KWL chart, not a QL chart, keeps track of what you know, what you want to know, and what you have learned so you can guide your own learning. It's a great way to help you prepare yourself, get curious about, and keep track of new learning experiences, such as a tricky biology chapter, a history unit, or just answering a question. A KWL chart doesn't just model what you know and what you've learned, it's also a way to discover how effective you currently are in learning new material. KWL charts are also incredibly easy to make, especially if you're using Lucidchart. You have the option of either making a KWL using a template or building one from scratch. You also have the ability to work on KWL charts together in groups. We'll show you what we mean. First, let's locate a template. On the Lucidchart document page, click on Education Templates. By doing a quick search for KWL, we can pick which template we want to use from among the results. We see that this chart is already made. All that's left for us to do is fill in our information. If we'd rather make our own, return to the Documents page and this time click Plus Documents to open a blank diagram. Using the shapes from the left toolbox, we can quickly create a chart. We've seen a template that uses columns. Let's make one that organizes our charts by rows instead. By simply dragging shapes from the left toolbox and onto the canvas, we can use these white squares to alter their size to create our rows. Double-click inside the shapes you want to add text to. We can give our chart some color, change the font size, and space our text out nicely, among other things, by using the Properties bar. You can't fill out a KWL chart all at once. It's a broken up process. Start by listing out the things you know in the K row. Depending on your preference, you can finish your K row before beginning on the W row, or you can fill out both rows simultaneously. After completing your K and W sections, feel free to return and add more information as you go through the learning experience. As you research and read more about your topic, you can begin filling out the L row with what you've discovered. Once your learning experience is finished and you've completed your KWL chart, you can check up on your learning process. You might find things about yourself that can help you with all your future learning experiences. One more thing. If you want to share a document with a group, click on the Share button and enter in your buddy's email addresses. This way also allows everyone to work on a diagram at the same time. A KWL chart helps you evaluate what you currently understand, become curious about what you're going to learn, and record what you've discovered so that it'll be easier to remember. It's a way for you to take control of your learning process. Now that you know how to use and make a KWL chart, you can start building your own in Lucidchart.